Hey guys, I'm a gaming potato, and welcome back to our game of Factorio. So first thing I'd like to mention is I have actually uploaded my blueprint book online. So I'll have a link to that in the description below, but that should have a link to almost all of the blueprints that I've used here. Basically everything in this book. I haven't even used everything in this book yet that you guys have seen, but most of it you guys have seen. So yeah, that'll be available via that link. And to continue where we left off in the last episode, we were creating all these lines here. And when the episode ended, I did actually play a bit more and just uh, finish creating all these um, red belt lines here just to get this all finished up. And then because I was using so many red belts, I kind of modified this line here. You can see we got a ton of uh, long arm inserters now just grabbing gears to throw into here. So this has drastically increased the speed of our red belt production, but at the cost of basically no gears for anything else. But that's all right, because pretty much everything else is backed up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see what we've got in here. Nice, another 170 tier three assemblers. Yeah, may as well just grab those. Oh, so this is currently waiting for Tier one. Oh yeah, and that's waiting for gears. <laughs> so why don't we just go like this? And we can just throw a ton of these in here. Yeah, we'll even throw that guy in there. And we'll just kind of clear out this line. There we go. Nice, 350 beauty. So before we continue on with the expansion, there's a few things I want to take care of. I want to upgrade all of our rocket line, our rocket control module line to tier three assemblers. I'm gonna take a bunch of these modules, our speed modules. Ugh. I gotta do this by hand. And we're just going to throw them in here just to help speed this whole line up. And we need a couple more here. There we go. Now it should hopefully speed up our rocket module production. You can see some of our stuff is backed up. Like we got a ton of low density structures here. And our steel line is also backed up. Where is it here? Yeah, we can see our steel line is totally backed up. Our production isn't actually that high. It's just that while we were off, off screen when I was doing all that belting, I got rid of a bunch of low level um, research here. So kind of just got some high level stuff, some unnecessary stuff that's not too important yet. Well, I mean, maybe, I wonder if I can move these. Can I slide these around? No. So we're going to go like this. And then, yeah, maybe we'll throw that other inserter bonus one in there. And then we'll do our uranium ammo and our artillery. See, I was doing low level science, so some of our resources have actually backed up here, like our steel. So we do actually still need to get more steel. And then another thing I want to do is build a spider tron. Probably actually a couple spider trons. And to do that, we're going to need some tier three efficiency modules. So I got all the tier three productivity modules that I need here. That is for our science labs. So we're going to turn these into efficiency modules. There we go. See what we got for blue circuits here, not too many. And we're gonna need a ton of blue circuits in order to actually build some spider trons. So I think what I'm gonna do is head up here, throw all those in there. And then we're just gonna go like this.
And these are going to produce extra blue circuits for us. Actually, these need to go like this. Oh, and we need some of these guys. There we go. And let's just grab some more speed modules. Just to help speed this up, because we're going to need a ton of blue chips. There we go. And we'll throw some of those in there as well. Yeah, it looks like we're actually really eating up uh, these green circuits here now. Well, that should be all right. We only actually need four of these to build two Spider-Trons. That's not too bad. 60 in there, 10 in there. We have one, so we need five more chips in there. So while we let our blue circuits build up, I think we're going to just add that extra steel line on pretty quick here. So we're just going to grab... What do we got in there? Oh yeah, we got an insane amount of these inserters here. We'll just go like this. Probably going to need more belts. And power poles. Still good on our electric furnaces. Yeah, we got a ton of electric furnaces in here. Oh, and uh, miners. We got a hundred miners, which isn't really enough. Grab another two hundred or so. Okay, so we need a new steel line. This guy right here is pretty close. Let's grab that one. I'm going to try and make this pretty quick here. As I smash into some rocks. Alright. First thing we'll do is just deconstruct any garbage in the way here. And let's find a 60 minor line. All right, that looks pretty good. That's one, two, three, it's four lines. It should be pretty much perfect. We'll just let our drones take care of this for us. Yeah, it looks like we'll definitely have enough miners. That is taken care of, and then we'll find iron to steel smeltery. Actually, to place these, we're probably going to have to just get rid of a bunch of gunk here. see how do we want to place these something like this two three 
four. And I should free up some inventory space. We can see some of them are sticking around here, waiting for spots to free up. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, and we're running out of energy. We'll throw our extra fusion reactors in there. And maybe I'll just help with some belts. Yeah, this is a pretty big job for even a hundred bots to make all these smelting lines. And our batteries are out. Alright, so the only thing we're missing is our furnaces, and I have a bunch of those in the car. I think I want to wait for this battery to, my batteries to kind of regenerate. So I think I'm just going to go like this. There, that'll connect that. And we got a radar. Plop a radar right down there just for vision. And then we need a power line. Now that's all hooked up. And we've got some battery regenerated now, so we can go and grab our electric furnaces. Hopefully 200 is enough. Wow, 200 definitely was not enough. How many do we need? 400, wow, all right. Good to know. And we'll just kind of run down the middle here. Nice, that's beautiful. Uh, 
All right, and our steel line is complete. Guess we'll just merge these all onto a single line. So let's go, that's a uh, four. We'll just go like that. And we'll hook up our last line here. Now we'll just bring these lines up. Like this. I'll just throw a random power line here. Yeah, this whole line has power now. Hundred eighty megawatts. Yeah, we should start seeing a power jump. So we got two steel. The steel line is going all the way up here. Okay. So I think we'll go like this. Actually, no, we'll just uh, move this up here a little. <clears throat> I'll put priority to the right. And then we got another steel line. Yeah, it looks like we don't really need that steel line, but once everything gets moving again, um, that was definitely a bottleneck. Oh, and all of these red lines. Yeah, now we're actually going to build an upgrade planner. Upgrade all our tier 2 to tier 3 assemblers, because we have 315. This should give us a pretty good increase to our red circuit production. I've got another red line up here. I don't think our green circuits need it. Yeah, we're back down to 135. Three tier three modules. Let's see, we need one more tier two. Uh, 
And then we'll have four tier three efficiency modules. So using that, we can use those for our Spider-Trons. Those four exoskeletons we actually need to keep. So we need to build four more exoskeletons and two fusion reactors. We'll grab all our chips. Okay, two fusion reactors. We need low density structures. We got a million of them right here. Oh, short a couple blue circuits. Actually, why don't we just get rid of these? Throw those back in there just to speed us up. All right, that gives us two fusion reactors. We need four exoskeletons. So we'll need a bunch of electric engine or electric motors. There's 30 of them. Need some more steel. see how many more of our tier three assemblers we got another 46 yeah we're still waiting on gears well we can probably cut back here let some more of those gears through go we're back up to about 200 two more exoskeletons and we need four just for once we need eight total need some rocket control units some rocket launchers what do you need for a rocket launcher well that's easy Let's go down to our mall, collect some stuff. There's eight of those, four radars. four radars there low density structures oh need 150 of those I think we got a bunch up here so let's see we need uh, 32 rocket control units Yeah, we're just going to steal a bunch of these. And while those build up, we're going to go dump a bunch of crap into the garbage. Alright, where's an empty garbage bin? That is now full. Oh yeah, we still have our Tier 3 productivity modules. We're just going to dump all of those in here. There, our whole research lab is filled with tier 3 productivity modules. Oh, nice, another achievement. Got ourselves two Spidertron remotes. Which means we'll need two more radars.
Let's go check on those electric motors again. Get some more exoskeletons. Four efficiency modules. Oh yeah, rocket control units. And low density structures. Oh, and some raw fish. Hopefully we got at least one or two fish in our uh, tiny little lake we got down by our power plant here. Oh, look at that. There's a fish. Oh, we got five fish from that. Sweet. All right. Um... Build a random garbage can. And there we got our fish. Oh, nice. Boom. One spider trunk coming up. And we're almost ready for another spider tron. We just need more electric engines. Yeah, we still got two fusion reactors. And those go in here, so we need to make two more fusion reactors. There's one. Need some more low density structures. Some more electric engines. There, so I think all we need for our second Spider-Tron is just one portable fusion reactor. Oh, didn't I build eight rocket launchers? Oh, I got three here. There's a fourth. Grab some more low density structures. And now we just need a few more blue circuits. Yeah, I think we're good though. So why don't we just build this one? We do still need another fusion reactor, though, just for ourselves. For that, we need another 60 blue circuits. Make that 30. Yeah, it looks like we're really hurting for uh, red circuits. Well, I think part of that might be due to our plastic lines. Looks like our plastic lines are not at complete efficiency. Yeah, it looks like we're short on petroleum gas. I wonder if, uh, yeah, the storage tank's looking pretty full. Yeah, still low on petroleum gas. Let's make sure these are working. Yeah, these are turning our light oil into even more petroleum gas. 
I think what we really need here, though, is just a bunch of speed modules. And let's turn these into tier three. That'll burn through more of this light oil. Because we also don't want our light oil backing up either. It kind of looks like this light oil is pretty close to backing up. So I think we're just going to go like this and clear it out. There, that should help. Yeah, I think we just need speed modules in our oil refineries here to get that plastic line back up and running. Oh yeah, and we have this plastic line that's not actually doing anything. What if we go... Like this. There, this will have pad out those two lines. That looks better. Now we should have enough blue chips for our last fusion reactor. Alright, we got a fusion reactor. Let's click on Spidertron to connect it. Oh, I think we actually need to place these guys. Let's give them a color. Let's go... Uh, pink? Where's pink? Yeah, that's a good color. Pinkotron. And how about teal? Yes. Nice, look at those guys. Beautiful. Pink for you. Teal for you. Let's throw both of these down here. So, I'm going to want teal to follow. To follow selected entity, control left click. So now if I get in here... Yeah, now the teal one will follow me around. Perfect. Oh, and you know, I could... If I had another fusion reactor in here, I could throw some <clears throat> exoskeletons in my spidertrons to speed them up as well. There's enough for another fusion reactor. And we'll build three more exoskeletons. Blue chips and steel. Just need our electric motors. Just another 15 more. Oh, one more. There she is. Go to our purple one here, get our grid. Go run of these guys in there. Yeah, 
Yeah, now this guy's real quick. Nice. I'll get another one for our other guy later. Yeah, it looks like we're not really going to be getting red chips back to these assemblers anymore. I think we'll keep collecting blue chips up here. But we may as well just get rid of all this. Let's get rid of all these red chips in here. Green chips, not too concerned about. And we'll just throw those red chips in there. All right, where is my car? Oh, it's all the way over here. I love the Spider-Tron remote because I can just like click where I want it to go and it'll just figure it out. I can't believe how much slower that teal one is without those uh, exoskeletons in it. So we're going to take everything out of here. Throw a bunch of this crap in here. Now we can load up both of these spider trons with a bunch of stuff. Let's throw all those in there. A bunch of these we don't really need on us. And we do have a bunch of garbage. I'm just going to grab some steel here just to make a bunch of chests. Now, actually, we are going to need a bunch of active provider chests. So we need green and red chips for that. is good maybe 45 mall v2 is a 21 perfect okay do we have everything else we might possibly need get a bunch more of these power poles We're just going to throw a... Oops. I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff in our spider trons. Oh, definitely don't need those tier 1 assemblers. Okay, that should be good enough. So now we're going to build our V2 mall, which is going to be a drone-based mall. 
and it's going to run off of this line this new line we got here so i think what i'll do is just connect power here And we should have power. Yeah, we got our radars here. As so we can see, everything's running. Oh, yeah, look at that power spike. That's crazy. Yeah, we might even max out this power plant. Just running these extra lines. And as those electric miners kick on, they're going to draw more and more power. Yeah, she's maxed. So we're just going to disconnect that now. And we're going to build another nuclear plant. First thing, I will just collect some of our nuclear parts here. Okay, well, we got way too many of these. Oh, and, uh, no, we should be good for pipes. So just gonna grab our nuclear power. And actually, I think, yeah, we're gonna just place it above our old one. Maybe just like this. And we're probably going to need another robo port. A requester chest. I wonder why it's not placing that requester chest there. Maybe because it was outside of the drone network. And we need four liquid pumps. We we'll need some gears. We still need gears and steel. We got one of those. Oh, I love how fast this Spider Tron is. It's so good. Okay, so I don't think we can. Oh, wow, they can fit there. That's awesome. No, we want to use undergrounds. So hook these up just like so. Yeah, that's requesting uranium fuel. Oh, 
Oh, we need to go like this. The rest of that can go in there. And we're just going to make a little garbage can right here. Actually, we can just throw these in here. And let's see if we get these drones going to over here. Doesn't look like it. Well, we're just going to throw these in here. And now we need four more nuclear reactors. Concrete. Yeah, we got a concrete little concrete plant down here somewhere. There she is. We got a million heat pipes here we totally don't need. Get rid of those. So now we just need copper, steel, and red circuits. Well, let's start with our red circuits. Yeah, we're just going to go like this for now. So that'll collect our red circuits. Then we need copper and steel, which is sitting right here. I'm trying to, oh, there we go. Yeah, we got all four lines. Perfect. Nice. Another achievement. We have 500 advanced circuits. We have another red circuit line right here. Alright, there's our first reactor. I'm just gonna do the same thing here. That could probably stand to be a fast, sorry, stack inserter. Second one, I need more copper and steel. I 
We need a thousand. Yeah, we got two, so we still need a thousand of all these. That should be good. There's reactor number three. And we just need another 400 red circuits. Oh shoot, yeah, we should hook that back up for sure. And reactor number four. And there she is. Powered and ready to go. Let's make that tier three. Yeah, why don't we throw some some of these guys around here? Yeah, that should speed stuff up. just want to make sure that this guy here is actually receiving his fuel as well. Oh, this one's almost at 500 actually. Well, why don't we just take like half of this? Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's getting some. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, took my inventory and placed it on the line. What the heck? There we go, that line's backed up. Let's call over our Spidertron. Now we'll finally replace this power pole. There we go, we can see everything has power again.
We should be around 960 megawatts at full power. Yeah, it's weird how it's at 930 megawatts. Well, it looks like we still got about 400 megawatts of free power, though. Not quite breaking 580 megawatts. Holding steady around 570. Yeah, check out these sweet, sweet lines. And there is our full iron line. Looking good. Nice. And we're finally ready to start our expansion. Well, I think the first thing we'll do is just clear out some of these trees here. gives us some space so I think our mall can probably fit right here let's check this out oh yeah it's pretty tiny I think this mall still will need uh, some extra resources brought in but this should be enough for now I think I can build, oh, no, I can't, what am I missing? Oh, gears, yeah, that's all right. All right, V2 mall. Looks like it will fit right here. That's it. Looks like we need a couple stack inserters. Okay, so... We're going to use a couple iron lines here, as well as here. So why don't we just go like this. Well, I guess we'll need some copper too. So I need one copper line. And then I think we'll need raw copper plates. I think something here needs raw copper plates. So we'll take these two lines. Copper will go there. 
That will be iron. And this guy goes right here. Now why don't we just go like this? course we'll need power oh <laughs> looks like that was missing Our two robo parts. Looks like I need some more assemblers here. And then we're just going to upgrade all of this to tier three. Oh, did I, uh, I think I got rid of this blueprint, or sorry, this uh, upgrade planner. And we're just gonna make these all tier three. Yes, we will need raw iron plates. line yeah we'll go just like that get our raw iron plates and copper plates Copper plates will come out right here. Just like that. And then this line will also get some 
copper plates. We'll just go like this. Oops. Uh. There we go. Oh, and, uh, yeah, we need steel coming in on our reserve line here. Actually, no, we want, uh, want this line to work like this. There we go. Now the only thing missing from this line, I believe, is red circuits. Oh, this guy does need some stone in here. But yeah, otherwise we got pretty much everything we need going here. And I think we'll also get a small production line going that will produce roboports as well as logistic drones and construction robots. Because we're going to need like a few thousand of them. And those flying robot frames are going to take a lot of resources to make. Yeah. Cool, well, at least we got our V2 mall done. This is all going to be drone based. Which will be nice. I can have my personal logistics set up just to refresh my inventory. Do the spider bot inventory as well. Yeah, our power dropped back down just because we're not using much of these lines here. Yeah, that mall is definitely sucking back a lot of resources. That's alright though, I may even just uh, have these lines continue on down here. Because this is really just, you know, we're not doing any signs from these lines. So actually, I wonder if I just go like this. Oh boy. Looks like we need a big old garbage can here too. So, we'll just get rid of these, and we'll go like this. Hmm. What's a good way to do this? This will go like this. This will go like this. Yeah, it still doesn't really fit everything in here. Well, maybe we can split this line up.
Yeah, you know, something like that seems like it works. Cool, well, we finally got our V2 mall up and we're ready to actually start our first expansion here. Yeah, we're gonna do Roboport, uh, get a few thousand drones, hundreds of Roboports, and we'll see if we can get a tier three module um, factory going here as well. But that'll be for a future episode. Well, that's all I have for today. So if you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll have more episodes for you soon. All right, thanks, bye.